All right, so in this problem, I have five to the power of x plus five to the power of x plus five to the power of x plus five to the power of x is equal to 1,000. So for my solution, I'm gonna first start by factoring out five to the power of x from my left-hand side. Because as you can see, we have four of the same terms on my left-hand side and the easiest way to go about th solving this equation is to factor them out. So I get five to the power of x times, well five to the power of x divided by five to the power of x is simply one, so I get one plus one plus one plus one is equal to 1,000. And now one plus one plus one plus one is four, so I get five to the power of x times four is equal to 1,000. Now, we want to isolate x, so I'm going to divide both sides by 4. So then these two cancel out, and I get 5 to the power of x is equal to 1,000 divided by 4, which is 250. So from this large equation here, we got up to an equation that is significantly smaller. So we have five to the power of x equal 250. And just at first glance of this equation, we can tell that x is not gonna be a whole number because we have five squared is 25. Five to the power of three is 125. And five to the power of four, this is gonna be 125 times five, which is 625. So the value of x is somewhere in between 3 and 4. Now to actually find the exact value of x, not just an estimate, what we're going to do is rewrite 250 as 25 times 10. And the reason I did this is because 25 is the same thing as 5 squared. So I get 5 squared times 10. And now I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I get log of 5 to the power of x is equal to log of 5 squared times 10. And this is the same thing as, well, log a times b is equal to log of a plus log b. So log 5 squared times 10 is going to equal log of 5 squared plus log of 10. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent and b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 5 to the power of x. I can move x to the front. And I have log 5 to the power of 2. So I can move 2 to the front. And I get x times log of 5 is equal to 2 times log of 5 plus log 10. Now, I'm going to divide both sides by log 5. So then these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 2 times log 5 plus log 10 over log 5. Now, if you guys already didn't know, log 10 is equal to 1. So now I get x is equal to 2 times log 5 plus 1 over log 5. And this is the same thing as 2 times log 5 over log 5 plus 1 over log 5. Now these two log 5s cancel out. So I get x is equal to 2 plus 1 over log 5. And although this is an exceptional answer, 
I'm, I want the exact answer, so I'm going to find the value of log 5. And log 5 is equal to zero point six nine nine meaning one divided by log of five is going to equal one point four three so two plus one point four three is three point one four three so I get three x is equal to three point one four three and this is my answer to this problem. And remember how we already said that x was going to be somewhere in between 3 and 4. So this proves us right.